Peter, we went from a 28 Bentley, now we have a 28 Mercedes-Benz. This, this is, uh, that's more of a, a go out and win the race kind of car. This is more go for a good cruise in the countryside, right? This is a grand touring car, mm -hmm. absolutely, like the Bugatti is in some ways. Uh, this was a catch me out for in Europe at the time. Uh, these were the big cars. Uh, uh, Bugattis were making smaller cars and uh, they weren't making the Grand Tour cars. This is a uh, 6.8 liter, 7 liter supercharged Mercedes Benz. Um, fabulous car, uh, open tour, Phaeton. This car is scheduled to go down to Monterey to the Pebble Beach Concourse. Uh, it just came here. It was uh, flown on a 747 by the German owner here to Seattle and then in August here we're going to head down to Monterey and it's going to be shown on the lawn at Pebble. So not just a trailer queen. When people think of older Mercedes, they think of the insignia, of course, they think of the grills, and on this particular era, the exhaust pipes, they, they're really distinctive. Yeah, supercharged car, and it shows the big pipes coming out. They had one version on this called the SSK, which is the Cat's Meow, would cost you $7 million today to buy one of those, which were the white race cars of, uh, of, of the great uh, German period in, in the 20s. So, yeah, serious stuff. These ran against, it's kind of fun, these ran against uh, there's a Bentley behind us that ran at Le Mans, and, and this is the kind of car that, uh, in, a, in another sporting form, that raced against them, supercharged cars. And it was kind of a fun story because the Bentley guys would be instructed to uh, uh, kind of stay on the tail of these Mercedes so they use their supercharger uh. more than they need to so they would break down. Uh. And it was a tactic uh, that did work. Mm -hmm.